Okay, we are here on day nine on the handstand push-up challenge in 30 days. We're gonna look at some tips that you also can use in order to achieve first the handstands, get a stronger upper back, as well as to achieve the handstand push-ups. Let's go. All right, so day number one of trying to learn the handstand push-ups in 30 days. Let's see how it goes. Huh. Damn. Well, those are my first few tries, so let's see. I still gotta work on the balance. Maybe somehow the strength is Somewhere there, day number one, feels all right. Little concussed after everything, so uh, let's see what we have left in store and uh, let's continue still alive. Huh. Okay, so we got the seventh day in here on the handstand push-up project. Let's see what's up. So a lot more control and also on the way down, a little bit of control, but no way I'm getting up from there as of yet. Okay, we're here on day nine on the handstand push-up challenge in 30 days. We're gonna look at some tips that you also can use in order to achieve first the handstands, get a stronger upper back, as well as to achieve the handstand push-ups. Let's go. So the great part about calisthenics is that you can do it anywhere, anytime. First, we have the incline push-up. It's similar to a push-up, but a small tilt forward means that you are using your shoulders in the exercise. Next, we have the pike push-up that is more in an elevated position. So you have much more body weight loaded there. You're using your shoulders, triceps, so it becomes a lot harder as these are smaller muscle groups. Then we move over to exercises on an elevated bench so it becomes even harder. So we finally can progress to a assisted handstand push-up against a bar and preferably a wall so you don't sack on the bar. These are preferable reps that you should be aiming towards so you become strong enough to do the unassisted handstand push-up. Don't rush things. Then we should be improving our balance and we push ourselves off the wall where the fingers are actively being used so we don't actually fall over. Keep the scapular muscles neutral, the core tight, and you should feel a small stretch in the armpit. You can experiment with stuff such as opening up the legs in order to improve your balance. Then we put the things together unassisted. In my opinion, you can do between 10 to 20 repetitions in one session. So it's day 21 of the handstand push-up challenge. I guess I have to put my money where my mouth at because it's been really busy. But I always say you don't need too much time to work out. So I'm using my break here from work to see what's up because I don't know if I'm too well recovered, but I feel like uh, my strength is there, but it's, it's not too much about the strength. I learned from some guys here that you also basically have to ease into that handstand push-up. For me, it's personally a lot about the balance. My balance sucks, but let's see if uh, it's about to change. Damn, the balance thing is still again hard. Let's see if I still have a few in the tank. Let's try to get it now. Whew. That was it. <laughs> Almost one and a half. I don't know, was it? It might have not been the cleanest one, but if it was one, I'll take it. Damn, what's going on here? 
all right i just reviewed it and uh, i think i passed it let me know below in the comment section whether or not you will make the pass for me do you think i made it or not let me know below hit the like button if i did comment if not and i might have to get back to it anyways i got a small sweat here now it's back to work so thanks for watching see you guys in the next video